Hi everybody, it's Carla with Cobweb Corner. Thanks for joining me for Floss Tube number nine. It's April 27th, uh, 2019. If you're coming back, thank you. I really appreciate all of my subscribers. And if this is the first time for you, welcome. And I hope you find something that you enjoy in the video. Um, I uh, It's been a little over a week since my last video. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it every week, once a week. So I'm just gonna, uh, Make the videos when I can, so bear with me there. I'll do them as, as often as I can. And uh, it's not that I don't have a lot I want to talk about. It's just uh, time has been getting away from me. I've been super, super busy with my businesses this week. And um, also, we're getting ready to go on vacation on Thursday. We're going to Germany. And we're, we're going to leave Cedar Rapids on Thursday morning and fly to Detroit. And in Detroit, we're going to meet up with my daughter, who's going with us, which I'm super excited about. And then we fly overnight to Frankfurt, Germany. And pretty soon, my cat is going to jump up here. So we'll see how that goes. I may have to uh, take a break and stick her out out, uh, out of the room. We'll see what happens. Yep, there she is. This is Bo. This is Bordeaux. And she's a lover, so we'll see if she can stay here. She likes to sit with me, and she likes to be on my shoulder. So she jumps up, and it's, I don't know. She just has to be with me all the time. So we'll see how this goes. Um, anyway, we're going to fly into Frankfurt, and we don't have a lot planned except for one day. We're only going to be there three nights. So we leave on Thursday, and we're home at 4.30 in the afternoon on Monday. So uh, we're gone four nights, we fly one, and then we stay there three. And on Saturday, the only thing we have scheduled is um, a six hour in English, um, small group wine, abbey, and cathedral tour. So my daughter said that she didn't care what we did, but she'd like to visit some wineries. So we decided, we looked, looked things up and we're, we're like, should we rent a car or should we try to do a tour? And um, uh, you gotta stay down or you gotta go out. Um, and she, we found this tour and it, it looked, it had really, really good reviews on TripAdvisor. So we do that Saturday and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, other than that, I think Friday we get there at nine o'clock in the morning. We're gonna try to check into our hotel and then probably just walk around Mance. I don't know if I was saying that right, M-A-I-N-Z. And then Sunday, we're gonna take the train to Cologne. There's a really large, beautiful uh, cathedral in Cologne that my husband has seen, but that we haven't, um, that my daughter and I haven't. So we're gonna visit that and then walk around Cologne for a while. Um, and then that'll be it. We'll be getting ready to come home. Um, so uh, that, that's that been taking up a lot of time. I had to do some serious retail therapy um, because, you know, my closet has absolutely nothing in it that I can wear for this trip. So I went out and bought a couple dresses, you know, summer dresses, and then I got, um, oh, I got like these t-shirts that have the nice sleeves, which I love, because uh, I don't like my old lady arms showing in short sleeves all the time, or sleeveless, and um, got a nice pair of pants that will be good for travel, so I did really good. Um, now, Bo, you're going to have to get down. Um, so, before I get off too much a tangent, exciting, 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 I get to show you my first finish. So, that is Boo Bear by Stony Creek, and I started it because of floss tube, and I started it in March, and uh, it went real quick, and I really, really enjoyed stitching it, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, I changed the floss, floss colors because the green, the orange, the yellow, and the um, kind of uh, bright, bright red were um, glow-in-the-dark colors. And I didn't have those and I didn't really care that it was glow-in-the-dark. So I just changed those to found what I thought were good matches on my DMC floss and used that. If you want to know uh, what I use, let me know. and, and uh, I will get that to you, but I'm really, really excited. I think I'm going to just take him or her and maybe get um, a white frame with some kind of black antiquing um, and do that. But I really, I'm not sure how I'm gonna how I'm gonna go. But I'm so excited, and it's all because of Floss Tube. I started watching Floss Tube and got back into stitching. So 
that was fun. My other retail therapy um, that I had, uh, that wasn't retail therapy, but um, anyway, to get ready for my trip is I got a new travel bag. And I really like this bag. I got it from eBags, and my husband has one like it. But when you fill it, it goes in your suitcase flat. And it's not, it's for, it's a toiletry bag. So it's got all kinds of little compartments in it. And then this side over here is got a lining. So if you have anything that leaks, you can put your lotions, your shampoo or whatever there. And then over here are two small things for like, oh, like uh, makeup brushes, mascara, toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that. And then you can hang it, which I always hang my toiletry bags. So I had a toiletry bag that I liked, but um, it didn't pack flat. And so I always had to, I always had a little trouble. But my husband, I got him one of these for Christmas and he really liked it. And so he said, you know, I think you'll get better usage out of your suitcase space because we're going to try to go with each of us just taking one carry-on and then another small bag. So I have a carry-on and then I have a black bag that um, can fit over the handle of my suitcase and be pulled that way. So we're all gonna try to not check any bags. So three days, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, another thing I got, which I just love, is I got this in Swisher, Iowa. There's a, um, Oh, let's see, what was the name? Plum Creek Boutique. There's actually, Swisher, Iowa is a super, super tiny town. And um, I live just outside, of, I don't live in the town itself, but they have two boutiques that are both really nice. And this one I got was Plum Creek Boutique and the other one's called The Vault Boutique. And I got picked up this towel. It says, half the day I wonder if it's too late for coffee, the other half if it's too early for wine. And if you knew me, that is just like so me. I have coffee as soon as I get up in the morning and then and I have like a, a double cup and I put it in a travel mug and then I finish drinking that and I'm like boy I really want some more and I don't know if I should or not and do I make another double cup or a single cup and then about four o'clock um, I like to have a glass of wine while I'm cooking supper and about four o'clock I'm like well oh, gosh I wish maybe I could start supper now but you know, I wait till my husband gets home, but I thought that was super, super cute. So, and it is just so me. Um, I didn't buy any new patterns or new stash uh, this week. I don't, you know, I shouldn't be buying patterns anyway because I have 5,000 of them in my inventory, but I didn't pick out anything new to stitch yet. Um, but I do have a new start that I'm going to show you. But I did order some of the, let's see, is it Peiko? Peiko, Peiko um, floss organizers. I had bought one quite a while ago and used it to organize my floss for my angel of healing chart. And I wasn't sure, it's, it was kind of big and I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I actually really like it. So you, you uh, draw the symbols on there and then take um, a little bit of floss at a time. I usually, you know, it depends on how much I think of that color I'm gonna need. And then I just, I never have to refer back to my pattern. Um, the only thing I have to refer to my pattern, I don't, of course, don't put my metallic threads um, on here and um, any beading or something like that. But um, I really like it. And when I was working on my Boo Bear chart, I, that one didn't have nearly as many colors, but I still missed it. And I'm, I, um, so I decided to get two more. And then I also bought the, needle organizer and I've never stitched with um, a lot of needles going at the, at one time. I usually stitch by color and then uh, change there so I never really have any floss left. So I'm not sure whether I'll use this or not. Um, if, you've, if any of you have used it, let me know how you use it and what you think. I know it would be convenient just to reach for a needle, but do you start like, do you pre thread a whole bunch of needles and then go from there or do you work and then put your needle in one of the spots if you have leftover thread you know I'm just not sure so I got one of those um, and then I so now I have three of these and um, one of the needle things and then um, since I started using project bags um, 
and doing more projects thanks to floss tube I needed some more Q snap frames so I bought an eight by I bought two eight by eights and I got all of all of this stuff I got on Amazon and if you, I can put the links down below if you want so I got actually I got three eight by eights and then I got a six by six and when I got the six by six I'm like boy this is tiny I don't know if I'll ever use this you know if you have a project that small will you be able to use it but it turns out I used it on my new start so my new start is um, let's see if I've got the picture here my new start is the getaway ghost needle case by Fern Ridge collections and this is one that I've been talking um, a couple of times on a couple of my videos about and um, we saw these at market. We saw all, a whole table of their, their um, smalls made up and they were just amazing. And I decided I needed to try to make one. So I was having, I started stitching in hand. You start with the outline um, in black here. And I was just having a terrible time. I was stitching in hand and I finally got the outline finished. And I, I, it's 32 count linen. And I've worked with 32 count linen before, but I was just having a really hard time. And then I was trying to do the cross stitches for the moon right here, um, stitching in hand, and I was I was so frustrated. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try my little six by six Q snap, and it worked perfectly. And then I can put it in my um, sit um, sit on frame that holds my Q snaps and stitch with two hands. And it is so much better. So what I got done, um, it actually took me quite a while. I got the outline, the moon, uh, like each of these rows is 25 stitches. So there's a couple hundred stitches in there. And then I got three of the tombstones. This one's a rest in peace. And then um, I got two with the heart. And then I'm using, I last video, I had a whole bunch of cat charts. And I apologize to dog lovers everywhere. So I got out my Puffin Company um, little dog needle minder and those are on our in our um, for sale on our site I'll put a link down below for that, but he's really cute He's just I don't know if it's focusing. Yeah, there we go. He's just really cute. So um, This is all I worked on this week, but um, It's a it's a challenge for me. I've never done anything like this I've never done a needle ca case or a scissors case or anything like that. So I'm taking it slow and I um, I wanted to start uh, another chart that it was a kit that I bought on Amazon called um, Girls Sitting on Dragon Reading a Book. And it came with 14 count white Ada. And I decided I wanted something softer, so I ordered a 28 count Jobelin. And um, I was had hoped that that would be in by now, but it's not. So um, I'm waiting on that and then I'll, I'll give that a start. So I think that's it for my haul and my new start <coughs> excuse me um my allergies have just been terrible it's uh really bad here um let's see what else happened this week i got if you have seen my previous videos i got my hair cut and um it's still super curly i just um had a smoothing treatment some kind of blowout thing that cost a fortune but really works and I'm really debating. My hair is actually very gray. It's like salt and pepper, um, heavy on the pepper, and oh, it's almost 50-50 gray. And it's getting to where the gray is pure white. And I'm like, boy, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So um, my hair had a lot of blonde and kind of gold, like bright blondes. And I was thinking that looked a little too young for me. So we talked to my, my lady who is just... A genius with colors and we decided to start working toward gray very very slowly so she started putting in some ash color so I don't know if you can see it in the light but it's it's pretty different and we cut a good two and a half inches off and then I got the smoothing treatment so my husband had a little bit of sticker shock when I told him what that credit card bill was gonna be but uh, you know it's worth it and, uh, and I'm really happy with it. She does a great, my gal, it's uh, Abby at Blaze Salon in Cedar Rapids, and she does a great job. So, um, let's see. Um, 
Let's see. Let's do the announce the winner for last week's giveaway. Sorry about that. I was like, what am I going to do next? I even have a list, and I'm like, whoa. So last week's giveaway was Carrot Top by Fancy That. And you had to answer a question, um, did you think it was spring yet where you lived? And the winner is Megan Cornelius, and she's from Southern California, and her comment is, spring is here and quickly moving to summer, hoping for one last cold spell before the fires of hell are unleashed for months, LOL. I thought that was really funny. So um, I will reply to her comment, but Megan, if uh, you see this, you've won the carrot top chart, and... Uh, you can contact me and I'll get that to you as soon as I can. As far as uh, Cabo Corner Store uh, and my other businesses, I uh, still am struggling with the jewelry side and getting back into that, but I did do some cleanup work in my studio and I photographed three of my necklaces to get those ready to go to Amazon, but um, I'm just working so hard on my cross-stitch store that I'm really starting to wonder if I can do more than one even though I've been doing this for 15 years. I'm just putting a lot more time and a lot more money into the cross-stitch side. Um, so what I did on cross-stitch was I, I have a number of wholesale orders. Um, just It's really getting away from me. So, um, But they're so fun. I'm finding so many new designers. And this week's uh, designer that I want to feature is Bonnie Sullivan from All Through the Night. And... Um, she, her charts came in this week. I ordered directly from her. And I want to show share some of those with you. So the first one is um, May I. And it says, May I, a small house and a large garden have. And I really like that. Look at all the flowers in there. And they're like blooming trees. So the tree starts here. And may I, may I, a small house and a big garden have. So I really, really like that. That's available on our site. So all these are available on our site now. Another one by her is Oh Christmas. And there's just so many ornaments and birds and a uh, pine tree effect and a star on the top. And this whole chart is done in one color, olive green, Voldani um, floss. So I just really, really, really like that. <clears throat> then I got, I also ordered some Halloween charts and got a couple from her. This is Boo. Black Crow, and I love the expression on the pumpkin's face for that one. Looking up like, what are you doing? So I got a bunch of those. And then this one, Friendship is a Sheltering Tree. And this is done in that same color, uh, olive green, Baldani hand over dyed floss. Um, this one is called Halloween is in the air. The moon is full. Beware, beware. And again, I really like the uh, expression on the pumpkins and also the moon face. It's really cute. And I really like this quote. I bought this one just for the quote. Use what talent, the, the title of the chart is use what talents you possess. It says use what talents you possess. The woods would be silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best. And we've got four birds in the berries there. I really, really, really like that saying. Everybody has talents, and we just gotta use what we have and and uh, go with that. In the berry patch, this is a simple one. Robin in the oh, I don't know if the yeah it's a robin probably in the strawberries. And this one I've had on my site before, smitten. Really like that. I love the snowman, and I love the colors in the mitten. And Jolly Jack, that one's a quick stitch, very quick stitch. And then there's a series of three, um, Henry, they're all snowmen. Got Henry, Cardinal, and Jack. I love their sweaters. And Harry. So all three of those are available. And then we've got Blossom Home, and this is so cute. Uh, the bird is in the nest. It's a blue bird with a nest in a potted plant. So that's really cute. And then this one's called Stocking Full. And on this one, you only cross-stitch the top part. 
and then the bottom part is made with a uh, piece of fabric of your choice and she has an outline to draw for the stocking so that's really cute all right I thought I had one more I'll find it here then like I said I got some um, Halloween charts um, it's about that time as a store owner to get the Halloween charts out there and make sure they're available and look for some fun new ones because people are going to start stitching to have things done in time for Halloween. So I picked up the ever popular uh, Halloween Eve by Blackbird Designs. I've had that in my shop before. I've got a couple more of those. And then I got um, From the Heart uh, Needle Art by Wendy, Halloween Quaker. And I thought the uh, pumpkin on that was cute. And I like the colors in that one. Then I got some charts by, and there'll be more of these, uh, this designer, Madame Chantilly out of uh, Italy. These were imported from Italy, and their char her charts are just so unique. And this one is called Halloween Royal Family. Isn't that awesome? I just really, really, really like that. Halloween Royal Family by Madame Chantilly. That's available on our site, too. Um... Then I picked up a couple more. I've had these in stock before. The Buzzard's Roost in by Praiseworthy Stitches. And I think I got another, oh no, this one's by um, Plum Creek Design, uh, Plum, Plum Creek Street, Plum Street Samplers, I'm sorry. Double Double Toil and Trouble, Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. And I really like the colors that are used in those trees and the shape of the tree. It's just really unique. So that's by Plum Street uh, Samplers. Oh, here's the other um, All Through the Night chart. This is a super big seller. It's called So Happy. And you can see why. It's a quick stitch, and it's just really cute. Great thing to have um, in your stitching room. This one has kind of blown up on my, on my site since I listed it. I have three copies left. It's by Sarah. And it's called Halloween Sampler. And this is also from Italy. And look at that. Isn't that cool? It's got all kinds of motifs. It's got pumpkins along the top, witches, haunted houses, multiple haunted houses. And then in the bigger, in the center is a bigger haunted house with graveyards and trees and cats and got scarecrows, just all kinds of things. I just think. Sorry if that's not focusing. I just think that is so cool, and I've had so many people want that chart. Then this has been an oldie but goodie, um, and I love it because it has the word cobweb in it in cobweb corner, you know. So I've had this in my shop for quite some time. Halloween, when the cobwebs in my house become decorations. <laughs> I think that is so cute. And that's by uh, Waxing Moon Designs. And the last Halloween chart I have to show you is um, by Jenny Bean. It's called Jenny Bean's Halloween Sampler by Shakespeare Peddler. And it says, when I am dead and in my grave and all my bones are rotten, if, you, if this you see, pray think of me or I will be forgotten. And that's got a weeping willow. I love weeping willows. So, all right, I think that's it for um, the Halloween charts. And then um, last week, like I said, I had a bunch of cat charts that I posted. So I ordered a few from Hoffman for dog lovers. So I've just got three here to show you. Um, they're all by the Scarlet House. This one's called, there's probably dog hair on this. And you can also say there's probably cat hair on this. And um, this is the Charlotte Murdoch 1815 sampler with three dogs. Actually, five, six dogs total. And the morning walk. So, uh, I am thinking of you guys who are dog lovers. So, um, that I keep preparing, preparing, preparing for these videos, and then I still have things that I, I uh, forget to bring in here or didn't do. So, this week's giveaway. Um, this week, um, the question is, and don't put giveaway in the comments, just answer the question, um, do you have any kind of garden? 
It could be a flower garden, an herb garden, a vegetable garden, or not. And you can say, no, I don't have a garden, or yes, I do, or you can tell me about it, whatever you want to do. And um, I have started, I, I, we don't do garden gardens at all, but um, I got one of those um, arrow light things that you can start your seeds ahead of time last year for Christmas, and um, I started some herbs in that, and I already have a few planted outside, which I have to bring in tonight because it might snow. I can't believe it. But anyway, this week's uh, giveaway is Garden Reflections by Leisure Arts, and it's got eight different designs in it. It's a booklet, and there's the back. And you can win that just by commenting below um, and... Uh, telling me about your garden or your lack of garden either way and the winner will be announced um, when I do my next video so a week to week and a half might be a little longer because we're going to Germany but um, I'll announce the winner then um, the other thing I want to do is uh, if you're just joining us for the first time uh, Cobweb Corner does do new and used um, cross stitch books and last week I told you about uh, my girlfriend who was had decided to get rid of a bunch of her stash so I started working on that this week and I got um, oh maybe 40 things entered of hers and wanted to just show you a, a quick representation of the types of things that I'll often get from um, stitchers who have been accumulating stash for a very very long time and either they're uh, ready to just downsize a little bit or their eyesight's bad or they th have things that they liked when they first bought them but now um, just I think I'll never stitch that um, those types of things so she had a couple of Lizzie Cates in the first batch and then she had a whole bunch of magazines and they're in very good to near excellent condition some of them are in excellent condition so we've got some um, for the love of cross stitch which um, I have a hard time keeping in stock when I have them the way back Simply Cross Stitch, got a few of those. Here's some more Simply Cross Stitch. Um, another, some more for the love of Cross Stitch. So I only have one of each of these, obviously. They're pre-owned. The description um, of each of them is shown in red if you go to our site. And anytime you, you bring up a product on our site, it'll say condition, it'll be in red. And if it's new, it's new. Um, Either I bought it directly from a wholesaler or I got it from a store that went out of business. Um, but it still might have a little bit of wear on it. Like if it came from a store, it might have um, some display wear along the edge. So read the description. It's usually very, very accurate. Um, she had two Erica Michaels charts that are brand new and include the silk gauze. And um, the one is I Saw Three Ships and Peace on Earth. Those are stitched on 40 count silk gloss and that's included. Um, got an old Pegasus Original, Hydrangea Cottage, Friendship Samplers, Friends and Stitches 3 by The Needles Work. And I think that's it from what I, I uh, had for her. So, oh, I think this one might be another one. Strawberry Summer by Just Nan. And that includes the big pack. So um, I have a lot more that's going to be coming from her. So we've got a lot of brand new stuff that I've ordered from wholesale accounts and directly from designers. And then I've got a lot of pre-owned stuff that I'm trying to get out there as quickly as I can. Um, I think that's it for cross stitch. On the jewelry side, um, the necklace I was wearing, I just wanted to show that to you. This is made with um, kind of bohemian beads. I love the texture on these beads. And then the circle and the bird are brass and I painted those to match the beads. Isn't this one gorgeous? So um, that's just one of my boho necklaces. I believe this is on my Cobweb Corner Boutique site. If it's listed, I'll put a link below, but wanted to share that with you, give an idea of some of the stuff that I make for that. Um, so I hope that everybody's have has a great weekend and a great week and I hope you get lots of stitching done I hope I do too we're gonna meet some friends tonight uh, just go into a bar downtown Cedar Rapids have some burgers and some beers and visit I haven't seen them for a while 
So that's going to be fun. And then, of course, tomorrow night is Game of Thrones. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. Last two, The last two episodes have been amazing. Who is going to kill the Night Walker? Um, that's what I should have put for my question. Um, if he's not dead after tomorrow, that'll be my next video question. But we're going to be in, oh, we're going to be in um, Germany, I guess. I can't do that. I'm going to miss Game of Thrones. I'm going to have to stay off Facebook and stay off the news and not read anything about Game of Thrones until we get back and can watch it. So I think I, I'm just like cringing on who's going to die in the in the series. And oh, it's like it's such a good show. So anyway, I think that's it. I'm going to uh, sign off for now and uh, try to get some stitching done this weekend too and keep packing for Germany. So thanks for watching. If you uh, liked what you saw, uh, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button below. After that, a little bell will come up. If you click the bell, you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. So thanks a lot. Happy stitching. Bye, everybody.